Hey guys, good morning. It's good to be with you today. We are talking about the book of Philippians. And uh, I want to say this as I start. You know, getting old is uh, sometimes a, an interesting journey. It's not always easy, but there are certain benefits to it. One of the benefits to getting older is the fact that you're able to see life through the eyes of retrospect. We were able to see the things that once you thought were so challenging, now you're beginning to see them in the light of of the plan of God and the light of the sovereignty of God. You're able to see some of the things in life that you thought were so good for you and actually did not turn out so well in the end. But when you look back and you see some of the worst things that ever happened to you, through the eyes of retrospect, you see that they could well have been the best things that ever happened to you. Now, Paul is in prison here, and I want to read to you what he says through the eyes of retrospect, but retrospect is a science that he applied straight away into his life. He didn't wait till he was 10 years down the road and then look back and say, man, that was a good thing, even though at the time it seemed like a bad thing. Paul is in prison, and this is what he writes to his brothers. Now, I want you to know, brothers, that what has happened to me has really served to advance the gospel. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. And because of my chains, most of the brothers in the Lord have been encouraged to speak out the word of God more courageously and more fearlessly. You see, He's able to see the worst thing that ever happened to him, which is being put into jail. He's able to see it through the eyes of God's purpose. What is God's plan in this? Things don't just happen to us as believers. They always happen for a reason. And one of the lessons that I wish I'd learned when I was so much younger was the lesson that says, what's God's plan in this? For you, this may be a terrible thing. This may have been the worst thing that could ever happen to you, but that's for you. But for the cause of Christ, could this not just be one of the best things that has ever happened to you? And as I look back personally, very um, sort of subjectively, I see this happening all the time. So many of the things that I thought were really mean and ugly, and I thought God had forgotten me, and that God had not taken care of me, and that God was not on my side, and where was God when I needed him then, and what happened, to, why did that happen to me? God had forgotten me. I'm now able to look back with a little bit maybe more applied wisdom through the eyes of retrospect to see that sometimes those things, as discomfortable as they were to me, and as discomforting as they were to me, at the end of the day, through the eyes of looking back, sometimes were those things that achieved so much more for the cause of Christ and for me to use that as an opportunity to build character. But there is a phrase that we have to learn and we've got to learn it well. And it's the phrase that Jesus taught us where he said, Thy will be done. Who can understand the will of God? The will of God, people, is not the will of man. You have your will, and generally that goes in opposition to the will of God. Because I don't like uncomfortable situations. I don't like suffering. I don't like pain. But when I look at it through the sovereignty of God and the purpose and the plan of God, I have to acknowledge that this is a better theology. This is a true theology of what God's purpose and plan is. Be careful of people who preach the comfort at all costs gospel that God will run for you just to be comfortable all the time and have all your needs met all the time. Nobody's building character when that happens. When the plate is just laid and the table is just laid and everything is before you, comfort breeds complacency. And when we get complacent, God's blessing goes out the window and meanness comes in the front. Now, when we look at the, the situation with Paul, Paul's seeing this event through the eyes of the kingdom of God. Now, the kingdom of God, has said, is not the kingdom of man. And when we will apply just those few words, Lord, I don't understand why this tragedy happens in my life. I don't understand why I have to go through a time and I, I, that I'm not to blame for. I don't understand why the world has done this to me. But I do understand this, that God loves me. He's still on the throne. He's still in control. And he's working out his perfect plan for his kingdom and for my good. The benefit of retrospect says that the worst thing that could has ever happened to you could well, in light of time, 
because it be the best thing that has ever happened to you. I hope that is true for you. It all depends on your response. You see, it may be the worst thing that ever happened to you because you respond poorly. And you may be kicking and fighting and shouting and, and screaming at God and, and blaming him for all sorts of things. And, and no one's growing any character there either. But when we submit ourselves to the beauty and the wonder of God's plan, his purpose, and his sovereignty, oh man, the picture changes completely. Have a good day.